I'm from a grimy era, let's talk about it Gotta keep a pole, can't walk without it Did some things in the streets, but I won't talk about it See some things in the streets, but I won't talk about it I'm from a hood that's thorough, they don't play here And they don't play on these blocks, it ain't a daycare A new kid gets shot every day here I guess that's why my heart colder than the rain there DVD Era TV back at y'all with another one. Y'all know the slogan. Let's get straight into this one. By now, we all heard the story Cam and Mace told about Big L having Mace robbed for his Rolex in Harlem. And also, Cameron dropped the freestyle of Kanye's Good Morning beat. And Cam basically explained Big L brother Big Lee trying to extort him in 2002 at the Old Boy video shoot, where Cam says it nearly ended with a shootout. Now, let's take it back to Cameron's 2019 album for Purple Haze 2, where he told a few stories where things could have got ugly in the streets with him as well. Now on Cam Ron's Purple Haze 2 album on a song called Fast Lane, Cam tells a story about leaving the club in LA with his homeboy Tito and basically being approached by Suge Knight. Now Cam says Suge Knight basically told him he owed him money for using Tupac ambitions as a rider beat and basically tried to extort Cam and his homie Tito pulled out a knife on Suge. Now on the same album on a song called Straight Harlem featuring Jim Jones and Shooter 9-3, Cam tells a story about a time he had Stephon Mulberry in his hood and he had to beg his OG Reg not to rob Steph for his Rolex. Now in a previous video of mine on Big L, I explained who Reg was. Now Reg was affiliated with the whole NFL crew for 139th, and he was cool with Big L and Big Lee. And also Reg had connections with Black Just and the Supreme Team, and he was the one who supposedly robbed a junior mafia member for a chain that may have belonged to Biggie. Now on his song, Cam says, I had to beg the big homie Reg not to rob Stephon Mulberry. The same year he got drafted, I said, that's my man. He said, he got that rolling on in that's my shit tell him to leave before i start snatching you got it og i don't want no problems big or small i knew they was wildin when niggas were all biggie small so basically i believe cameron and um steph used to play ball together in high school so he had him in his hood in Harlem somewhere and basically og reg was like yo i'm gonna rob your man if he don't get up out of here and Cam begged him not to rob him, and you know he got him up out of there. And I'm almost more than sure that when Cameron said, you got it, OG, I don't want no problems, big or small. I knew they was wildin' when they robbed Biggie Smalls. He's referring to the Junior Mafia member being robbed by Reg for the chain that looked similar to the one Biggie was wearing in that episode of Martin. But tell me what y'all think about Cameron sharing his encounters with these legendary street dudes and still being able to be alive and speak on these situations. Do y'all feel like Cameron be capping when he tell these stories or he be stretching the truth just a little to make it sound good? Or you know when you outside for years going from state to state you gonna find yourself in some sh let me know in the comment section and also for the people that be like when i tell certain stories that be like oh this not from the dvd era this didn't happen in the dvd era dvd era tv is the name of my page all my content can't possibly be about the dvd era only i'm gonna talk about other things sometimes but the page is mainly based on the dvd era and rappers that was in the dvd era but all the content is not going to be about just the dvd era but one thing's for certain over here we're going to do stories that other channels don't touch up on but anyway if you're a fan of these old hip-hop stories tell a friend to tell a friend about my page like comment subscribe and hit the notification bell more content coming and i'm out one.